Hi everyone, welcome to the shack. Uh, just a quick video. Um, I bought a cheap switch mode power supply. Here it is it's for my uh, Yaesu FT817. I know what you're thinking already. Yeah, that was a, a bad idea. Well, as it happens, it was a bad idea. Um, I, I wanted a, a smaller power supply that I could use when I'm mobile, obviously, portable. And uh, you don't really want to sort of be lugging one of those around, obviously. Um, and uh, I bought this. It was recommended to me, actually, by someone. Uh, but I can't blame them because I was going to do exactly the same thing anyway. And, of course, on VHF, UHF, no problem at all. But I've just I've tried using it earlier on HF on 80 metres. And uh, it, my noise floor increased. Well, actually, I first noticed it with the uh, 7300. My noise floor increased from... Um, s5 to plus 10 uh with it with this thing plugged into the same uh, uh extension as the uh power supply for my um icon so uh that basically confirmed that uh as i should have known it's a bag of shit basically i should have remembered years ago when i bought my first welbrook loop the um the, the power supply that came with it uh, failed and I, and I went to Maplin and just bought a cheap thing like this really, a switch mode power supply and then switched it on and of course the, you can see the noise floor uh, on, on that radio, um, it increased significantly, uh, it was unusable and in the end I contracted Wellbrook and they sent me a replacement um, so uh, so this is fine for VHF, UHF to save batteries but uh, it's not going to work for, for, for HF so that thing it, I, I'm going too far to say it upset me, but it did annoy me greatly. Now, I've got this. This is a sealed acid lead ba uh, lead acid battery that I bought from Maplin about three years ago. I probably used it once, um, and uh, which is perfect really for operating the FT817. Um, the problem was is that I couldn't find the battery charger that I bought at the same time. But I actually had another look this afternoon after realising that this thing, this Chinese uh, switch mode power supply was no good for HF. And it, it turns out I definitely had a man look because this time I found it. And um, I actually put the battery charger on the battery and um, it was still green. 12.3 12 volts or whatever. The green light came on, didn't need charging. And I charged it a long time ago, which is good news because it means the battery is still in uh, very very good condition so um uh yeah i'm very very happy with it uh and uh yeah now i've got a proper portable uh solution to powering my 817 um i've ordered a nickel metal hydride rechargeable battery pack for it as well uh, obviously um at the moment it's got it's got the tray in it with duracell alkaline batteries in it non-rechargeable uh but that battery pack hasn't arrived yet and uh, so i don't know what's going on there but uh um you know if you're going to go out for a few hours portable uh you can't rely i'm not sure how long you can rely on on, a, on the internal battery pack to the uh, ft817 i don't know how long it will go how long it'll go particularly if you're using sort of full power so uh this is a much better option actually for me and um and all is good and all i had to do actually was um solder uh, a couple of crocodile clips onto the cable that came with the uh, power pole which is att attached to the back of it and uh, now I've got a very good solution once again these things are brilliant this iroda butane soldering iron I mean it's literally just so easy um, and uh, within about two minutes I'd um, solder the crocodile clips on and we're good to go so um, I, I, can ca I could calculate how long this battery will last but uh, uh, I don't know where the amp hour spec is um maybe on the other side anyway but it's going to last a long time I, I actually ran my elad that thing there on this battery for several hours about three years ago and um it uh yeah it's still basically fully charged or near as damn it um no 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 additional charging required unless i may maybe i put it back on charge so maybe i did charge it since i used it on the elad but um that was certainly a long time ago and uh it's yeah still it, and it's still fully charged so that's good so there you go i thought i'd share that with you yeah so remember these uh cheap switch mode power supplies whether it's for a wellbrook loop or uh or a or a, or a transceiver uh on hf uh, well, this thing generates loads of noise from S5 to plus 10.
literally ridiculous. Uh, so uh, be just a, a, a cautionary word, which most of you will know anyway. Um, I, I just, yeah, I, I should have known because, like I said, I had the problem before. So, uh, so there you go. But all is good now. So this is good, really. Once my nickel metal hydride rechargeable battery pack arrives, I can put that in there, and then I'm ready to go now. I can now go portable with five watts. Uh, then it's just a case of deciding which uh, amplifier, linear, linear, compact, sort of portable linear amp to uh, to buy to uh, add to this, and then stick it all in one of my flight cases, uh, and uh, good to go. So there you go. Anyway. I thought I'd share that with you. Have a good day. Enjoy the weather. Keep safe, everybody. 73.